Libra, this is Soul. And Libra, this is your week ahead uh, for August uh, 14th through the 20th, 2017. The messages will also be for uh, Libra Moon and Libra Rising. Okay, Libra, I hope all is well. Um, got some very interesting uh, energy here. All right, for some of you this upcoming week, let's begin. You have the full card. This is a major arcana, major life event. It's in the upright. So this is all about uh, taking risk, taking the um, leap forward, um, being adventurous. Characters are facing backwards, so maybe some of you have already entered into something new in terms of an event, uh, excuse me, an adventure. Um, this is a general reading, so you have to apply it to your situation. But for the rest of you this upcoming week, it's all about taking risk. Some sort of possible new excitement that may be waiting for you, but you won't know unless you take that leap of faith or put your energy out there okay now the other interesting stuff that's coming up for you is uh related to the three of swords that shows up in the upright position now i don't know since i started using this deck and it's new to me that uh libra you're the first one that received the th this three of swords it's in the past position but it's still part of the energy for this upcoming week uh someone is dealing with some sort of painful conflict or heartache related to a relationship possibly and if it's not a relationship because this is not a uh general love reading you have to apply this three of heart three of swords i'm sorry energy to your um situation this could be a separation from um another person you know a pet uh, this could be if it's involving people at a distance, that could be uh, the three of swords energy. But whatever it is, it's causing some sort of grief, pain, um, separation. This could be also a uh, factor, the three of swords, someone taking a leap of faith and risking uh, filing for divorce because this three of swords represents divorce. And because the characters are facing this way, it's past. And the Three of Swords following the full card is in the past. So someone is taking a, a risk of possibly separating from uh, someone that they may have been married to and uh, filing for divorce. I also picked up with the full card in this particular uh, deck that this fool is... Um, there's a child here so there could be uh some sort of there, there may have been some sort of risk factors related to a pregnancy or a birth someone's grieving a separation it's weighing heavily on their heart this also could be uh just this also could be just loneliness feeling the feelings of not wanting to be uh, alone or separated. The next card we have is, oh, okay, the death card. So you have two major, no, you have three. Oh my gosh. You have three major arcanas here. Uh, the death card is showing up in the reverse. So this death card, uh, this is the first time that I pulled the death card. Someone is definitely dealing with a painful uh, separation, a loss of a person. A loss of a pet, a loss of a friend. There's heavy grieving here. And there's the death card. Uh, with the death card, if you know anything about the death card, it's major transformation. Um, but I never rule the, you know, the death card when it shows up as anything really, really negative. It's actually a pretty good energy. But when it shows up in the reverse, it's something to do with uh, having to deal with um, a loss, a separation. Um, trying to keep this reading clean as possible but it could be related to an actual death um, it also represents a relinquishing of having to release something old or let go of once that is let go then the death card flips and the energy flips then it's something new about to be uh, begin it's, the death card is all about having to let go of something that no longer resonates with you and then 
allowing new energy it's transformation someone is reluctant to go through a transformation whatever this death card in the reverse means for you it's following the three of uh, swords or maybe some sort of reluctance to release a relationship um, grieving over a loss could be the divorce could be a loss of a you know a pet could be a loss of uh, almost anything whatever it means for you okay then we have the tower Friday going into the weekend so you have damn you have three major arcanas here and this is some powerful energy but the tower which I only like to see show up in the reading is when it's in the uh, reverse position major arcana Friday going into the weekend there's some sort of big aversion or there was some sort of potential upheaval or destruction um headed your way for some Libras that I'm reading for but Friday going into the weekend there's some sort of this is you Libra being in control of any situation now this three I'm sorry the tower mirrors the th the three of swords so it may be that you, you you know you're in control of that loss or you begin to be you know get in control of some sort of loss that you suffered from so many things that I can sit here and say and, you know, for the ones who go out, who comment on, um, you know, cards and shit being handpicked, trust me, I don't I don't handpick cards here. OK, it, the messages are going to reach someone I know. Um, but this is something going on here. I don't know if this is related to the energy of. um You know mercury retrograde i don't try to get into that so but it might be but whatever is going on in your life libra and there's some sort of you know a releasing or a reluctance to release or still grieving over a loss with the three of swords showing up here you're in control okay the tower always when it shows up in the reverse is that you can control the situation when it's in the upright you can't control it because it's something that comes normally quickly and when it comes in quickly and it's in the upright position it's all about upheaval just you know and destruction okay it's showing up in the reverse so that means you're in control of the your it could be you in control of the loss or or your emotions in general um but for the rest of you who aren't experiencing any of the three of swords energy or the death card energy or the tower energy the fool comes in in the upright to say it's about you to having to take risk be open to new adventures um in the reverse the fool would be that there's a fear of new things or new adventures and the upright is all about welcoming or taking risk for those adventures Anyway, this is your reading, Libra. Hope it's helpful and beneficial for you. I want to wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead. Uh, emphasizing safety, of course, as always. Until I talk to you again, Libra, please be well. Bye.